vertenza di chi vola. Buon che sia di ora, no? Well, um, it's true that I'm a bit confused because I didn't have time to assimilate the, all the information, so my presentation will be a hybrid of the of the works of the last months as well as the inputs of all the speakers. I think that as far as our works and our collaboration towards Barcelona is concerned and something that is not a final point but a starting point because we have projects that are inputs but uh, they are never at the end of the work. And I think that we may draw several conclusions. Uh, we are right now living a moment of change in the field of work. We have different analysis in our different trade union organizations, and this is something that we see every time that we take part in uh, different events. We have digitalization, robotization, the disruptive start of these new forms of artificial intelligence, the conceptual change of uh, having an object and, and possessing uh, goods to the, 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 the change uh, of goods to services. So this is a disruptive change. And we as trade union organizations, we need to follow up this uh, phenomenon very, very thoroughly. And we need to anticipate change in order to, to, to be able to govern the change. On the other hand, uh, besides all the impacts that this change may have in uh, labor, um, we've seeing now something that we didn't see several decades ago, and uh, this is something that is the very big concentration of multinationals and economical power. So the capital is concentrating most of the economic resources and multinationals may decide on the working conditions because they concentrate power. And another point that was uh, highlighted beforehand is the opacity, the lack of transparency in uh, all the information that we have. We, we have uh, an excess of information, but we rarely have the good information. And we, as trade union organization, we need, we need to check up what has been done or what is going to be done. So this is the importance of uh, checking up the data right now. And the big economical uh, powers have understood this very clearly, and this is why uh, um, the social media may, uh, may collect lots of information of us as, uh, as citizens, as consumers, etc. So this is very important, and it, it is very important to reflect on the relevant data that we need in order to improve our actions how to use this data, and this is why it is so important to have uh, the good instruments, as Domenico was saying. These data are very important in order to have a clear picture of the situation, and these data are, are very important, but at the same time are very dynamic, and this uh, allows us to, to see the strategies of the multinational multinationals, and we need to work very proactively. It would be very interesting on the basis of these very big databases that are huge with uh, billions of processed data. We need to see how we can uh, compile this data and to combine them with the data we have and compare the data we have with the data from the multinationals. Our 
to compare them with our trade union data in order to improve our strategies. And this led us to the changing strategy of the trade unions. This is something that has been highlighted during the debate, and we reflected on an international trade unionism, much more international, much more uh, cross-sectoral. I'm, I'm sorry because I'm, I'm hearing the Italian version and I'm a bit confused, sorry. So we need more coordination and mutual recognition. We need to be generous and we need to uh, give sovereignty to other trade union bodies, uh, which can be the, the, the state federation, which is the one who is uh, closer to the problems of the workers, to the confederation, who has to give a, a unity to our actions, as well as the transaction, trans the, the, the European Works Councils, which are fundamental for us uh, because they allow us to articulate our work at the international level. I'm, I'm talking about trade unionized works council and we need to be more and more present in this uh, European works council as well as uh, national trade union federations. So this is a general framework and it is uh, a necessary framework because this is really the basis to move forward and this is the concept of soli solidarity and democracy that Stefano was talking about. So we need to gather all this information, we need to improve our trade union um, actions which is our priority and this is something we cannot delegate on anyone. Uh, the judges, uh, strategy and communication. This is something that we need to use as a basic and transversal uh, element. We need to develop alliances, of course, and this is something we cannot do on our own. We need to change the paradigm of, of the society we live in. And there is something else that arises in the, our own debate, which is the uh, drafting of new and compulsory uh, regulations in order to comply with it with these rules because uh, we can talk about uh, uh, social responsibility but it doesn't work so we need to to bridge the gap at the international level in order to have uh, proper regulations and proper labor relationships. Then the atomization, the individualization, the subcontracting and so on of, uh, of the labor, uh, these are transversal forms of uh, work and this is not something that is specific to a sector. So this is a new paradigm that they want to impose. And also the intention to weaken the representation and the power of workers. We can provide a, a, a unique answer and we need to, to give this answer. As uh, Thibault has just said, we cannot give in. We need to provide a trade union answer to um, all the workers, uh, which can be uh, staff members, which can be uh, subcontractors, uh, any kind of worker, male or female, that works for a company. And this is something we need to work on. 
Therefore, we need to adapt to our current times through this topic of data, and especially in order to act in a very powerful manner, we need to uh, end up being the weakest link of the chain. And I repeat, I think uh, we are talking about cross-cutting areas. So the objective of this project, Transformers, and this is not the first time I say it, which are the main objectives of the project? I think the priority objectives are to increase our capacity of trade union activity uh, wherever necessary. And this is uh, especially the case in the value chains of the multinationals and the supply chains that at the global level uh, they have uh, very few direct labor but very high figures of indirect labor. And this is all I wanted to say. Thank you very much.